Well, I guess it's fitting that all the ducks and the geese are over by the well house. Oh, well, I'm not sure what's over there. There shouldn't be water. Here's Tiger. Oh, I see Houston's watching me. I wasn't planning on going to town today, but I received a phone call asking if I was going to be in town. And when I told her I wasn't planning on it, she kind of convinced me to come. The reason? they She was cleaning her, and I, I don't know if somebody else was with her or it was just her, was cleaning out the freezer. Our freezer at church hasn't been doing a very good job. Somebody, a repairman is supposed to come and take look at it but decided to go through the whole freezer and see you know if there was anything that didn't belong there anymore well she found a whole bunch of severely freezer burned food and my I get a lot of quote garbage from my church food scraps I can give the animals I mean and apparently there was a, just a lot of meat chicken and venison and chili and bread and all sorts of stuff that my critters can eat and so i'm gonna have some pretty happy critters i mean everything's frozen right now but um once it thaws out my animals are gonna feast and since i was in town i stopped at the um oh what do you the where the guy that sells the firewood and i there was he hadn't burned it all. There were still piles of bark. Uh, um, so I just filled up every sack I had in the truck with fire with the bark, which I'm going to go dump on my um, Hugo mound now. So that's what I've done today. I got I a friend paid for lunch for me while I was in town too, so that was yummy. But it's now time to unload this truck. And start feeding the other critters. Um, I see all the goats staring at me. They need food. Well, they've got food, but just the coastal hay. So, I'm going to get busy and take care of this chore. Clean this all out. I just wanted to share, you know. Th there's so much free food out there. It's amazing. When I told people about... You know, I'll, I'll take freezer burn food or, you know, with carrots and stuff that's been in the freezer too long and has gone bad or whatever. I can feed it to my chickens. I can feed the meat, freezer burn meat to the dogs. I, this is food, people. And it's amazing how much food people will actually waste. I've gotten so much free food for the animals by just letting it be known. Um, my church... People, I have several people at my church know, and they bring me stuff on Sunday mornings all the time. Um, you know, peelings, you know, from carrots and tomatoes and bad lettuce and cabbage, you know, just all sorts of things that the chickens can eat. And uh, it's just amazing the amount of food that gets wasted that, you know, I can give my animals. So if you've got chickens and stuff, you know, let people know. They may be throwing out food. Just, you know, if you're on Facebook, advertise that you'll take, you know, freezer burn meat. It's amazing how much people will buy, you know, huge bags of chicken or whatever on sale, put it in their freezer, and not even touch it. And it goes bad. I've gotten venison, sausage, and I, it's all sorts of stuff for the animals. So that's one way to save money. So let people know, if you've got chickens and other animals that can eat, you know, dogs and stuff, let people know. Because a lot of people will not feed their dogs um, raw food. They insist on feeding them only the kibble ones, no matter what. And honestly, that's not as healthy for the dog. Um, I only feed kibble when I have nothing else to feed them. So, so this is really a blessing that I've been handed today, all this, you know, free food for the animals and load it up on another bunch more bags of bark and stuff so i just wanted to share this with you quickly and take care 
I'm just over here by the hugel bed. As you can see, I, it's just totally covered in bark. And I was just emptying some bags of the bark. I just find nature amazing. I mean, what the heck is it growing in? And, oh, here's some more greenery. I don't know if can you see it. Oh, see those little green leaves? What is this growing in? There's hard. There's very little dirt in here. I mean, it's all composting. There may be some. Maybe the, some of the hay and stuff I've thrown in here is composted a little bit, but it's mostly bark and wood and stuff. I'm just, I'm just amazed at you know what nature manages to reproduce itself in. Some plants are so determined. I just, I saw that and I was just, I, I couldn't believe that it was growing. And we're having freezes every night, or close to freezing temperature. Oh, there's some more, I don't know if you can see it in there or not. Ah, I'm losing my balance here. Sorry about that, people, but right here, I don't know if you can see it at all. But there's some green grass growing. I just, I'm amazed. I wonder, you know, when I run out of bark, this is just going to sit here and do its thing with the elements. And I wonder what it's going to look like in spring. I, I mean, I'm not expecting the top to look much different. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I just find this interesting. Just wanted to share it. I hope you I hope you can hear me over the dang wind and the birds. This gate was open. Sorry guys. Didn't mean for you to get trapped in here. I just want you to crack the garden. Oh, the wind, it blew all that feed right into me. Oh, this has been an incredibly windy winter. I really don't get it. Well, it's what it is. I've, some springs have been incredibly windy and other springs haven't been windy. Usually, winter isn't this windy. This winter, it has been windy.